Can you say hello to the people watching on YouTube? Hello to everyone watching on YouTube. How many pokens per second can Grow process? Grow can process over 500 tokens per second running Mixtral in Llama 7TB. Wow, that's pretty fast. Yes, it is. Grow is designed for speed and efficiency in AI processing. Write 10 paragraphs about the attention is all you need paper from 2017. 372 tokens per second. What you just saw was me testing out the Grok API that runs on a new ship designed for inference speed. So today I thought we could do different tests with the API, like real-time speech to speech, to compare the speed to ChatGPT and local models and more. So let's just get started. So I just thought we could start by taking a quick look at what is exactly this Grok LPU. LPU stands for Language Processing Unit, so it's designed to provide rapid inference for computationally demanding applications that have a sequential component, such as LLMs. So this tried to overcome these LLM bottlenecks like compute density and memory bandwidth. So these LPUs outperform GPUs and CPUs in compute capacity for LLMs, enabling quicker text generation. So one thing about these LPUs is that you cannot use them for training. That means that they are not competing with NVIDIA to train models. So they are just focusing on the inference market. I thought that was pretty interesting. So they have 230 on die SRAM per ship and up to 80 terabytes per second on die memory bandwidth. So yeah, I thought that was just a quick intro to kind of the Grok chip. Uh, I guess you can find more uh, yeah, information on their web page if you are interested. But now I want to test it more, so let's go do that. Okay, so the first thing I want to test is real-time speech to speech. So we are using faster whisperer to transcribe what I am saying into the microphone. You can see we are have importing Grok here. And we are using a local text-to-speech model that I have been using for. It's from Open Voice. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go too much into this. So basically, the Grok version, ChatGPT Grok version, it's pretty much set up as the API call is to uh, to, op to open AI. So we can color select between our Llama 2 model and Mixtral 8x7b. So we're gonna pick the 8x7b model here. And if we scroll down, yeah, we are transcribing with faster whisper and recording the audio and putting all this into this true loop here. Uh, I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but you, if you are interested in getting this code and trying out this real-time speech to speech for yourself, uh, you can just become a member of the channel and you can get access to all of these things I'm gonna be using today. But now let's just fire this up and see how quick of a response we can get. But before we do that, I also wanted to give our chatbot some personality. So your name is Ali, you're a pirate lost at sea. You are obsessed with finding a treasure that contains the key to AGI. Don't use emojis, keep the response very, very short and conversational. Okay, so that is kind of our system message. Now let's go. Okay, so let's run this now. So I'm just gonna be talking, right? Hello there. Hello, I'm Ally, a pirate lost at sea. Got any leads on that IG treasure? I heard something about the Bay Area. Where could that be? The Bay Area is in California, I say. It's known for the San Francisco Bay. Any specific location within the Bay Area? Something about a big company's headquarters. Aha, you might be referring to Silicon Valley, where many tech companies like Google and Apple have their headquarters. Could the treasure be there? That's what I heard. Intriguing. I'm heading towards Silicon Valley then. With some luck, we might find the treasure and the key to Aji. How are you traveling to Silicon Valley then? I've managed to find a seaworthy boat. I'll sail towards the Californian coast and then make my way to Silicon Valley. What's your plan when you get there? Once I reach Silicon Valley, I'll gather information from locals and businesses, hoping to find clues about the treasure's location. I'll also look for any edge-related research facilities. What if you find a treasure? If I find the treasure, I'll first ensure the key to Aji is safe. Then I'll share the rest of the treasure with my loyal crew as promised. We'll celebrate our success. Okay, so yeah, I think it worked pretty good. I saw we had one small lag, but that was pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I guess the conversation was about boring, but sorry about that. But like the real-time speech to speech, yeah. I'm pretty excited about this, to be honest. Let's do one more test. So you are a helpful assistant. Always explain complex topics so a 10-year-old can understand it. So let's try this one, okay? So let's just run this now. Hello there. 
Hi, I'm here to help answer your questions in a simple and easy to understand way. What would you like to know? Can you explain the attention is all you need paper from 2017 for me? Sure. In a 2017 paper, scientists introduced a new model called attention is all you need for a task in artificial intelligence called machine translation. This model uses a new approach called transformer that helps the computer pay more attention to important parts of the text. Improving the accuracy of translations, it's like when you pay attention to the most important words in a sentence, making it easier to understand the overall message. I didn't quite get that. Sure, let me try again. Imagine you're listening to a teacher reading a long, complicated sentence. Normally you might get lost or confused, but what if you had a special ability to focus only on the most important words? You'd understand the sentence much better, right? That's what the attention is all you need paper is about. It's a new way for computers to focus on the most important parts of a sentence, so they can understand and translate it more accurately. Ah, okay. Thank you. I get it. Okay, again, so pretty impressed. I see it kind of, it followed my instructions about explaining it to like a 10-year-old. So again, the speed was pretty good. So yeah, impressed. Okay, so the next test we're gonna do is actually compare GPT 3.5 Turbo with uh, Grok API. And we're gonna run some local models here in LM Studio. So basically how this is set up is pretty straightforward. We just do like a user input here. Uh, we run the completion, we can pick kind of our client here, so between Grok, local model, and OpenAI. And I tried to make this counter, it's not 100%, but it tries to look at how many tokens was produced, how many, how long time it did to, to process it, and then we kind of can find our tokens per second, right? Uh, it's not 100%, but it's pretty close uh, from what I have been testing. So I think we're just going to start off by running 3.5 Turbo and kind of take a notice of how many tokens per second we can use with the same prompt, right? Okay, so let's just run this. So I thought we can do write 10 paragraphs about AI. So this first test is ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. Okay, so it's pretty fast, right? It clocks in at how many tokens per second? 83. That's pretty good. 9 seconds and 760 tokens, so 83.6, okay, so let's switch up the model. Okay, so select our local client, let's do just a local model, right, okay. So what model are we on if we go to LM Studio? We are on the 2.5 Open Hermes Mistral 7B, okay. So let's go back here, let's run it again, let's do the same prompt. Okay, let's go. Yeah, okay, this is pretty fast too, I would say. Yeah, not bad. 34 seconds per... Uh, 34 tokens per second. So this is running on my local PC, right? Let's try to switch up to a smaller model and see how that performs. Okay, so I selected the Phi 2 model. This is a 3 billion parameter model. So let's try that now. Okay. Yeah, you can see this is a bit faster, but the, the performance, of course, is lower. So I guess it's like 77 tokens per second. That's pretty fast. So ChatGPT 3.5 was 83, so it's still faster, right? Okay, let's switch over to Grok then. Okay, so let's uncomment that. Let's select Grok, right? Let's pick our model. So we're just going to do mix, mix troll, right? Okay. Uh, back here. Let's fire it up. Write 10 paragraphs about AI. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Wow, <laughs> look at that speed. 830 tokens, 2.0 seconds, 417 tokens per second. <laughs> That's just crazy. So let's take a look at actually, yeah, I, I kind of like the mixture models. I think they are very good. So the thing is like, maybe the models is not as good as 3.5, but mixture is pretty close to 3.5. I would say mixture 87B is a 3.5 model, so the the actual performance or the content should be pretty good, but 417 tokens. Crazy, right? Okay, so the next test I want to do is some chain prompting. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to run the Grok API again, pretty much the same setup. Uh, but here we have a function called simplify. So basically what this does is it runs a for loop with a range. So we're going to set it to 10, I think. So we start off with this pretty big text here about uh, large language models. 
So what we are gonna do is gonna feed this text into here and we have a prompt. So this prompt is gonna be simplify the text above and when we get the answer, the simplified version, we're gonna take that answer, feed it back into the loop and simplify that answer again. So the hope is that we kind of get down to maybe like one sentence or something. So yeah, just let's let this run and see what kind of answers we can get here and see how fast it goes uh, using the Grok API, right? Okay, so let's fire this up. Wow, that was quick. So I think we got about the average around, yeah, two to 100 tokens per second. And this is kind of what we ended up with. So we ended up with two sentences, shortened and simplified text. So we went from all of this down to, yeah, these sentences. Uh, I don't know how good this is, but the point is was to do like chain prompts uh, and see how fast it was. So that was, you can say we spent around below one second for each loop. So that was around maybe eight seconds for that total full loop. So pretty impressive. Okay, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want access to any of the scripts I have been using in this video, just follow the link in the description, become a member of this channel, and I will invite you to our community GitHub. You will also get access to our Discord. So a big thanks to Grok for inviting me to this early access for the API. I really enjoyed it, and I'm going to be doing some more testing. But for now, have a great day, and I'll see you again on Wednesday.